Well, good morning, Cleveland. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, and that means it's time once again for Boners. I'm your host, Joe Shablotnik, and as always, we're going to be discussing and analyzing some boners, and it's going to be very exciting. If this is your first time tuning in and you don't know what a boner is, it's a record. And to qualify as a boner, the cover of the record needs to tell you a story about the band. You'll see. Also, we have a couple guests on today's program. Denise is joining us. Some of you may remember Denise from last week. She just released her latest album, Closer to the Savior, and she came on and did a song for us. But she was complaining that even with her record climbing the charts, that she was having trouble finding a date. So we sent her to our fashion expert, Rupert, and he gave her a terrific makeover. And she'll be premiering her new look today. We also have a comedian, Dervin Dooney, joining us for some comic relief. So for you folks at home, it's time to raid the cabinet, get out the cough syrup, and join us in looking at some boners. Okay, for our first boner, we have a group called The Vibrators. And this is the cover of their record, Watch Over My Little Girl. The story of The Vibrators is somewhat similar to that comedy classic, Three Men and a Baby. The Vibrators were five men and had no connection to each other. They just all had sex with the same prostitute around the same time. Well, she got pregnant and sent them all letters saying that she died. And no one knew who the father was. So they all decided to move in together and raise the little girl. So it was that classic My Five Dads situation. They all formed a band, and this was the first album they released. You can see that there's a little boy standing behind the guys in the center, and that was because they shot the cover of their follow-up Watch Over My Little Boy on the same day. Next up, we have Dean Kuntz. The album These Children I Call Mine. Kuntz was a middle school music teacher until one day someone slipped his coffee with some bad acid and he decided to kidnap some of the students and brainwash them and to form a cult. He and his cult, the Kuntz Kids, would go around campgrounds and sing and dance around the campfires. They'd go off into the woods and convert forest animals to their strange religion. It was called Kunis Eris. Kuntz was unfortunately slaughtered by a moose before his religion could really take off. The album cover was shot before he kidnapped that group of children, and you can see them playing down by the river, completely unaware that their lives would be altered forever in just a few moments. <laughs> All right, everyone, I wanted to show a photo of Denise's album, Closer to the Savior. And this picture is an example of the classic Denise look. She came on the show last week, and afterwards, Rupert gave her a makeover. And it's now it's time to... Welcome, Denise, to the program. Check out her new look. Hey, Denise. Hey, hey, hey Joe. Uh, I gotta say, you look fantastic. You don't give me some details, will you, about that makeover? Oh, Joe, Rupert did a wonderful job. He threw out my purple dress and gave me these new clothes. Then we washed and dyed my hair. And finally, he gave me these sunglasses to cover up the gaping white hole where my eye used to be. Yeah, he really did an excellent job. When I look at you at first, I no longer feel like I'm staring into a portal to hell. Well, I really think there, it's the cause of these sunglasses. My parents have decided to start letting me out of the house as long as I wear them. I feel closer to my savior than ever. Oh, that's great. So tell me, any luck finding a date yet? No, no, unfortunately, I haven't been able to yet. Well, that is a shame, because you are quite the catch, Denise. All right, it's time to welcome, uh, well, let's take a break first. We'll be back with our uh, comedian, Dervin. Just a moment. We're going to look at some more boners, so stay tuned. Okay, and we're back. I'm here with Denise. I'd like to welcome comedian Dervin Dooney to the show. All right, Dervin, show us what you got. Hey, guys, I was wondering, what's the deal with airplane peanuts? I rode on an airplane and I was looking forward to some complimentary peanuts, but there were no peanuts. The stewardess gave me raisins instead. I always heard there would be peanuts. What's going on there? The airplane ride was fun though. 
an elderly woman sat next to me and said that she was scared that the plane would crash. I told her it was safer than riding in a car. My uncle died in a car crash. It was sad. He was a nice guy. He used to crack my ear. What's the deal with um, shoes these days? They're all, they all have lace you have to tie. I used to have some shoes like that with straps. Um, those were fun. They were really strappy. He, he, he. I saw some shoes that lit up when you walked, too. And I begged my mom for a pair. But she said she, if she bought them that she wouldn't have any money left to make soup. All right, thank you for the comedic relief, Dervin. You know, times are tough. We can always use a good laugh, and I really appreciated that. And let's get back to the boners. Our next uh, boner is the downer album, Loneliness is Such a Sad Affair, and this one is by Jeremy. Not too much is known about Jeremy, but this is a really outstanding record. Jeremy really was a sad and lonely guy. You can look at this guy. Halfway through the album, he starts crying, and he continues crying till the very end. We're listening to a sample from Jeremy right now, and it's some really moving stuff. He is definitely not afraid to admit that he is an insane animal. Unfortunately, Jeremy hung himself by a bicycle chain shortly before his album was released, so we never got to see the impact he had on so many lives. Oh, that is so sad. I really like his frizzy hair and glasses. Yeah, it's definitely a shame. <laughs> We didn't get to hear any more tunes from Jeremy, because that's the album. It's a classic. Next up, we have the Starlighters, and they were a group. Albums for sale. Who wants a copy hey, of my album? Hey, that's my show. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? My show. Oh, I know, Jill. Boner's my favorite show. My name's Todd, and I thought this would be an excellent place to promote my album. It's called With Love From Me To You. I've been working on this for about four years. Uh, I really don't go out much. I'll be honest, um, but I saw the show last week and I saw Denise and uh, I truly understood what love meant and I decided to come on the show to meet Denise and uh, debut my album to the world and tell the message, I love you. Hey Todd, sorry about that buddy, but the earth does not reciprocate. It's time that you can go to home and uh, just go home and check back in 20 years when you're still trying unsuccessfully to sell your album. <laughs> come on man, why'd you say that dude? Oh, Come on. Oh, Todd, I think it's a beautiful <coughs> message. It's, it's going to speak for the whole world on so many different levels. And I have to say, I love you too, Todd. Really? Oh, yeah. yes, Todd. I would also like to purchase your album. Well, it's going to be 40 bucks. OK, Todd. Um, uh, shot in the dark, do you want to go, uh, do you wanna go out after the show? Oh, of course, Todd. Well, that is moving stuff. I'm sorry, Todd. I was just upset because I wanted to show my own boners. But you know what? Instead of, uh, of that, how about we all just uh, have a song from your record, Todd? Yeah. Woo! All right, we'll be back after these commercials with a song from With Love For Me To You by Todd. Okay, we're back. I'd like to thank Denise and Durvin for coming on the program. Be sure to tune in next week for some more boners. We'll close out the program with a song from Todd. Once long ago, before I 